I'm Michael Dominic, and today I'm making cacio e pepe pasta. That means cheese and pepper. I'm using pecorino romano and parmesan. You could use one or the other, or like I'm doing both. This is my first video in three months. I feel a little rusty. Things come up, so I am back. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. It helps. I know everybody says that, but it does, because you subscribe and then the algorithm and it gets like, like this. I don't know what that is, but it does that. And then other people, and it's it's a whole thing. So like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you'd like me to make in the future. And um, let's get started. These are our ingredients, both Parmigiano Reggiano and Pecorino Romano, around a cup and a half of each, black peppercorns. When ground, you'll have about a tablespoon or so. One pound of long, thick pasta. I think Bucatini is perfect for this dish. I like to use a little parsley for garnish, and I think the flavor rounds out the dish very nicely. Grind your pepper to a coarse grind. You can use a regular paper mill, or you can hurt your hand and use a mortar and pestle. I just want it to be fancy. Use the fine grating area of your grater so the cheese melts easily. Chop your parsley. Now, in a large mixing bowl, add your cheese and pepper. Mix them well to combine thoroughly. Mix in ice water little by little until you get a smooth but thick texture. Like this. Now that's the only cooking we have to do here other than the pasta. Fire! Once the water boils, add in salt and then your pasta and cook it until it's al dente. When the pasta is ready, use tongs to transfer it to the bowl with the cheese mixture. Now stir vigorously until the cheese is creamy and coats the pasta well. Add a little olive oil if needed. I didn't do it this time. Plate. Sprinkle with some more cheese and a little parsley, and serve. Look at that. Lovely. And now, for the final test. Success! If you like this video and would like me to make more, like, subscribe, and comment, and maybe I will. I'm not promising anything, though.